Forest Hills Kindergarten. It's Mrs. Werner here and I'm missing you guys. And I was thinking, what can I do with the boys and girls from kindergarten that you could do at home? So I found a story bag and I'm gonna see if we can find a story inside this story bag together. I went around the house and I found things because moms and dads don't know what a story bag is. A story bag is a bag with loose parts. And loose parts can be rocks, it can be McDonald's toys, it can be figurines. I have some fabric pieces, some gems, just things, and even acorns or pine cones I found outside of my yard. So it can be all the little things that you find in your house that you put together, but inside there might be a story. Let's see the story lives in this bag. an idea, huh? I think I have an idea for my story. Some characters. And a story in my story bag. And I'm gonna, I think I'm ready to tell it. I think I have my characters ready. And how do we start a story? What do we say? How can I start a story? A long time ago, once upon a time, last week, one day, one day, Regan and Claire were going on a nature trail. And they started off on the walk and they went through the woods. And they were going all the way through. And all of a sudden, they saw a bird appear from the sky. And the bird swooped down and grabbed a piece of grass and took off into the woods. Regan and Claire thought how special it was to be so close to the bird and they were excited to see nature. So they continued on through the woods and then they stopped at a bridge. They went across the bridge and they got to the other side. There was a pond and in the pond they could see two eyes poking out and they said, oh, I think, I think it's a frog. I think there's a frog in that pond. Then they went this way and realized they had to get to the other side of the trail. They were going to have to go across the log. So they went sideways and they went across the log to get to the other side. They got to the other side and they saw a beautiful flower. They smelled the flower and it smelled like summer and they got so excited and the bird came back and the bird came in and swooped down and grabbed a piece of fabric and carried it off into the forest. Claire and Regan were so excited to see the bird again. Then they went across through the woods and then they saw a tunnel right before they get to the 
the tunnel, the bird swooped down again and carried off a piece of string. I wonder what that bird is doing. Regan and Claire came to the tunnel and they went through it to the other side. When they got to the other side, they saw the bird and they realized that the bird had made a nest. They were so excited that Claire climbed on top of Regan's shoulders and peeked in and Claire could see that the bird had two eggs. What a great adventure. I wonder if you could look around your house and see if you could find anything that you could make your own story bag. Mrs. Werner would really love to see some of your stories. I miss you. Bye-bye.